lovely people. I'm happy to see you. Uh, just a side note, I do not have a chat uh, here on my streaming streaming software. So uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'll, I have my um, I'll have it on the screen. It should be on the screen. If it's not, it's not. But hey, apparently the the I don't have the chat box <laughs> due to some hither to unknown reasons as well. So uh, that is wow. How are you, wonderful people, doing tonight or today? I hope you are doing absolutely fabulous. I do have, however, I do have the chat uh, in the. If I just know how to play this, I really, really, really w hope I would have the chat here with me, but. That is not always how uh, your how things go. Okay, how are you people? Is everyone all good? I hope you are. Uh, because I am pissed right now, officially. Anyway, uh, I had internet connection issues. I can see you. Uh, I have the uh, YouTube chat on a separate window, so I can see what you're talking there, okay? I can smack, smack you in the head if you're on behaving naughty. Okay, today, the topic uh, for today is the long and complex history of gender and sex. It's not, uh, if you've been watching my, my channel uh, you already know that it's far far from from civil and simple uh, on when it comes to gender okay uh, it's far from easy okay I'll if you'll excuse me I'll put you on hold for a moment an actual chat box it seems chat box travels somewhere else other than just honest conspiracy cats okay let's have it here at the red light okay yes now I have what I want Now we have the magic chat box there on the screen. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, the gender and sex are not are far from easy. Okay. Um, what you've come to know, I'm sorry, I, I have to fix my hat. It went all caboozle during my endeavors in trying to get my uh, internet my internet to work it's yes gender and biological sex are in, are intertwined yeah I'm a, I'm a witch and a wizard at the same time like a warlock uh, perhaps um, Gandalf and um, Dumbledore Okay, so what sparked me into uh, actually picking this this topic? Uh, 
so, some of you have actually watched my videos. Liam, wait for, uh, just let me get it so that you're not all over. Oops, so that you're not all over my face all the time, like so. Anyway, what sparked me to this is that that the 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 trails of all this this gender biological sex what it is goes way back um goes way back okay and i got this the idea for this um this specific life topic from the video that i made the pre-recorded one that i uh, made of the uh, intersex Finn who was buried buried without with uh, honors with a double with a sword with all kinds of jewelry uh, they determined they they l took a sample of, of this person's femur and there's a t something called ancient DNA, a uh, lowercase a and capital DNA. There's a test. They they determined that this person most likely had uh, chromos chromosomes, a chromosomal aneuploid, XXY, which is more often called uh, Klinefelter syndrome. These people are uh, typically assigned male at birth, hence Klinefelter boys. Uh, and of course, you, those of you who watched this, that uh, question, that video in question, it was a Sunday special, I think, know who, who he is. He is Bertil. I almost forgot. In all this hassle, I almost forgot he was here. My co-host, Berti. <laughs> there. And of course, his friend, Stefan. He's my, uh, has a hedgehog there. Okay. Anyway, I decided to go for this. It's a complex thing. Uh, let's get this. Okay, let's get that. I'm sorry. I, I I'm truly sorry. I, I have to do this on on the on the fly. Uh, but sometimes. Okay. Now. I mentioned that there was a study. About this, uh, a study made about this particular. Uh, great finding they when they made the DNA sample they the DNA sampling etc etc uh, the point here probably was that they did dug deeper okay uh, so let's go for this okay this is from the one bit of the article uh, I decided to pick this one and then go for the rest in a separate episode because this is something that is I think worth mentioning uh, okay so this is from the from Cambridge org uh, this is from Cambridge uh, University Press European Journal of Archaeology, uh, published in Cambridge University Press on July 15th, 2021. And this uh, consists mostly of, uh, uh, most likely, uh, well, Finnish names, and then something that would probably be uh, German, uh, German speaking, German or Dutch speaking countries. Okay. The okay. Let's go from the st from the top, and I 
will it, when I go through the entire article, I will go in a bit more depth into the um, references uh, made in this these uh, in the text among the text. Okay, so uh, I'll just bring the chat. Okay, so. Uh, the archaeological literature is full of men and women. For decades, the individuals have been interpreted as male or female based on grave goods, simply, and the development of osteology and genetics uh, have brought new methods to, to detain, determine human remains. Remains as female or female, but problem with this is that this is a binary heavy prime binary present here okay uh, this binary and going on this uh, this article goes on to say this binary division is however problematic chromosomal aneuploidies like um, uh, Klinefelter Turner syndrome etc etc as well as genetic and hormonal conditions widen the spectrum. I've heard some say that it's um, it's basically there are only two kinds. You know the uh, the the this creationist shit say that there are only two kinds of that there's only variation within kind. Uh, when I debated um, this topic last year on Agree to Disagree, and since then there's been those who um, more or less claim that the variations between uh, these uh, within the, that when it comes to evolution they they tend to um speak of kinds and these these creationists tend to talk about variation between as variations between uh, or variations within gender or variations between either binary sex so it's it's sometimes futile to discuss trying to discuss these issues with with um, these co conservative assholes all right uh, super ghost UK but they never say what they mean by kinds no they do not and therein, therein lies the problem, doesn't it? So, um, okay, Liam Wakefield uh, goes on to say, there's a dog kind, uh, there's a cat, a cat ga kind, and there's the YEC kind, what the hell is that? Anyway, uh, there is um, something I would like to quote for you before we go um, from an actual um, biologist. An evolutionary biologist, Joan Rothgarden, has suggested that there's that there's a has been su suggesting a way to blend uh, learned versus innate models of gender identity. She, young earth creationist, yeah, yeah, that, okay. Uh, anyway, in uh, evolutionary biologist Joan Rothgarden wrote Evolution, Evolution's Rainbow, Diversity, Gender, and sexuality in nature and people wherein 
she went on to write as follows. When does gender identity form during development? Gender identity, like other aspects of temperament, presumably awaits the, ter the third trimester when the, when the brain as a whole is growing. Uh, the time around birth may be when the brain's gender identity is being organised. I envision gender identity as cognitive lens. Uh, when a baby is born, when a baby opens his or her eyes after birth and looks around, whom will the baby emulate and whom will he or she merely notice? Uh, perhaps a male baby will em emulate his father or other men, perhaps not. And a female baby, her mother or other women, perhaps not. I imagine that a lens in the brain controls who to focus on as tutor. Uh, Super Ghost UK goes on to say that in a way they uh, in a way they are ironically right there is an asshole kind uh, and a tolerant kind of person yeah <laughs> i i agree so anyway evolutionary biologist joan rothgarden go went on to say to write sorry uh transgender identity is then the acceptance of, of a tutor from the opposite sex. Degrees of transgender identity and of gender variance generally uh, reflect uh, different degrees of single-mindedness in the selection of the tutor's gender. The development of gender identity thus depends on both brain state and early postnatal experience uh, because brain state indicates what what the lens is and environmental experience supplies the image to to be photographed through that lens and ultimately developed immutably into brain circuitry once gender identity is set like other basic aspects of temperament life proceeds from there and quote and she uh, evolutionary biologist Joan Rothgarden wrote as this in her book evolution's rainbow diversity gender and sexuality in nature and people is innate you you are born i mean where does this if if i mean humans are monkeys whether the creationists like it or not we are monkeys and sometimes it feels as if we are we are very stupid we're very stupid of the monkey kind but it's like cognition when does it when and how do we get it and when do we get the identity gender identity that's been still a, a bit of topic for um, for a debate okay do you have any any comments so far people watching the chat watching in the chat uh, okay anyone just uh... oh by the way I uh, once again uh, there has been Uh, yeah, as as I've previously stated, I have challenged certain people or er everyone to to a debate 
with me regarding the I can debate this subject or, or the trans in sports and stuff and I've said to many people that I've organized with I've agreed I've made arrangements with a third party channel to have us on but uh, there are pe people have a few have agreed and told me they won't send me an email has there been an email still waiting for that email but send me an email if you want to debate I uh, I'd be more than happy to okay okay so anyway the but as this this goes on to say uh, it biology doesn't tell us that it doesn't tell us jack shit really I mean yeah um, okay in the 70s it became common to distinguish biological sex and from socially and culturally defined gender uh, and for example Virginia Butler has been writing um, a lot on the subject of gender uh, she's a wonderful so sociolo sociologist um, and I highly recommend uh, actually reading her stuff what she's been writing about all all kinds of stuff when it comes to gender and sex social as a social construct gender and, and such okay uh, it's just so interesting uh, and it's not just goes back and back and back and for example in this case of of the intersex person being found in the grave with all, both feminine and masculine or, or stuff be, uh, which are considered typical for both social genders it's fascinating from a thousand years ago okay so the complexity of gender is evident in the problem of determining the sex or gender of individuals based on the artifacts recovered from their graves. Yes, for example, Bergen Lie 95, Efros 2000, Str Stratton 2016. Uh, and I will go to these references uh, late in a later episode. Um, it is unclear how well the grave goods represent the, the gender roles and identities from the past and whether these roles should be interpreted from a binar binary perspective uh, Hjogrum Nal Hjogrum Dal uh, 96, 94, Nixon 94, Koke Jiro 97, Gilchurch Sørensen, Joyce, Heres Jara, Jonsson, Moon, Price, et al. Uh, have all, all uh, studied or this in detail in detail mind you um before i go any further do you, do you does anyone have any questions uh regarding the topic or comment or or just uh wish to in to smack to smack me in the head for messing up the 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 start of this um stream anyone Mind you, there's a slight delay. A slight delay for. Uh... Oh, by the way, today's uh, today's beer is Dark Castel. It's a uh, Dutch for castle. Castle? Castle? Castel? Donker? It's uh, dark. And uh, it's uh, one of these ex excellent Belgian beers. It's uh, 11. 11% uh, men and women drink these too anyway in it's not 
just the the oh we have more viewers omg what is going on we have more viewers uh for viewers please say hi hello you have um new oops my soundboard just broke. okay welcome new viewer oh so bef uh just take liam wakefield um so before using a dna they would presume gender based on grave goods without override evidence from the bones uh no uh, uh when it comes to the, this uh grave uh liam uh when it comes to the uh, previously the gender and by and also biological just to an extent biological sex was determined by the grave goods because these these um grave goods like the hilt uh, the bronze hilted sword let's do get okay let me get this to do this there was this bronze hilted sword found in the grave with the Klinefelter with, with a person with XXY aneuploidy uh, for de and this grave was found in 1968 so for half a century it was assumed only based on the grave goods it was assumed that that the that the, it was a double burial mixed gender double burial be, just based on the grave goods uh there was as you can oops, uh yeah okay there was all this kind of jewelry jewelry here and the sickle here there's all kinds of of jewelry uh s some really really intricate jewelry found in this grave uh i can't i seem to have lost the pictures i, I yeah it, it was so intricate yeah that's a nice preserve some nice preserving yeah Anyway, but there was intricate jewelry as well. That is why, for half a century, people, as everyone, archaeologists, the professionals, assumed there was a double burial, a mixed gender double burial. But these these people, who now came up, came out with their findings of, of. Um, that it, it was a, actually XXY chromosome, chromosomal aneuploidy, XXY. And it was a sing, and it was a single burial, one body, uh, one body only. And they, based on the ADNA, and they took also soil samples. There, back in 68, they didn't take, surprise, surprise, they didn't take proper, um, soil samples however when they took the bones the bone the, the skeletal remains out of the grave they took these bones with the soil around them so they had they had some they found uh, hair hair particles from uh, i think it was a bovine bovine hair uh, and most of all wool like woolly like lamb hair uh and they were like uh 0.5 micrometers long so they did a good job okay so they they determined based on 
the soil samples, the hair, the everything, that it was a single burial and it was a Klinefelter man. Uh, because previously they thought that it was that the, all the jewelry belonged to a woman who was buried there and the swords uh, was belonged to a man who was bur buried there. You can't have both, can you? Uh, uh, I, yeah, they, pre yes, Liam, so they presumed gender, presumed gender only based on the grave goods, uh, typically. And then if there were some clear, clear, uh, osteological changes that they would, would be able to, be able to, to determine, but in this case, back in 68 they determined be only based on grave goods and typically in the past they would only based on grave goods i hope that uh, uh, answered your question liam uh super ghost uk creationists can't help but be wrong about so much just to validate their beliefs exactly there so just to get you a bit more okay although and it went on to say all the article there on European archaeological journal uh, although swords in early medieval graves in northern Europe can be interpreted in many ways from symbols of power and social status to ancestral heirlooms like Hadley, Gardella, Harke, Harrison and uh, and is this grave I mentioned it was sometimes thought to be a war and it was presented in Denmark uh, uh, in a in a uh, in a Exhibition, however, it was it was very controversial, in it, it very controversial to begin with, but in a in an expo named uh, Meet the Viking, and it was presented as the sword. I think it was the sword that was presented as the sword of a female warrior. So it was presumed that if you have a sword, but uh, feminine clothing, sword, feminine clothing, perhaps some jewelry, you're a, you're a female warrior. Boom. Uh, it's like trying to trying to assume someone's uh, gender, gender identity, or whether they have whether they have a dick or a vagina. So it's the same kind. I, I don't get it. Anyway, there are. It goes on to say that the there's um. That there are uh, graves containing a osteologically female osteolo osteology is like how it is a study of the bones. Uh, so, it, but there's been no no uh, feminine like jewelry, etc. But only swords and stuff. So this goes a long way. Okay, Almost. and it's not just this one thing. Uh, Liam goes on to say, the sword could have been like a, the sword could have been like a symbol of office, status, or ancestry, or the person's, instead of person's job, person's job, yes, yes. Uh, one point that was made in the uh, uh, stuff, the articles and studies I I um, wrote, read, read about. I never write any studies. Do I? I read plenty of good studies, and they they made this exact this uh, this exact point. So. It's um, it's an interesting one. 
And uh, I honestly, I have to take a break. I'll be right back. Yes, anyway, so the I've been through the trans history here here on my channel. But it's this is not so much about that. It's about how, why it's a comp that it's complex and it's a lot and it's long. Okay? So the in ancient history we see all these different kinds of um, identities, shall we say, different ways of expressing one's identity. Um, but it hasn't been in, it hasn't always been that difficult, you know, it was it has been diverse not difficult but diverse in the past uh for example in there's been a during certain uh, certain ethnic origin that has spread certain ideas around the world uh in melanesia for example, it was being homosexuality was, uh, according to what I've read in part in many parts of Melanesia, which which is a part of Oceania in the Pacific o Ocean region, uh, homosexuality was cherished, celebrated, and some, and sometimes, the heterosexuality was even was frowned upon. Uh, up until until I think according this is just what I please correct me if I'm wrong uh, and this so this would have been up until mid 20th century when me they said when a certain book uh, with a cross on it um, likely reached them and they it they turned it upside down by being gays frowned upon this is also part of what you're what you're um, supposed to do what who you're supposed to love if you have certain types of genitals if you have a dick you're supposed to love women the opposite sex the ones who have, who have a vagina and vice versa but and this comes also comes back to the 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 uh, gender binary the gender binary uh, that has been set in stone the issue that I have with the the uh, Liam Wakefield goes on to say a certain book has been has turned a lot of things upside down exactly uh, and it made a even a so and it even made a country down under. It was the what it was the right right way up, and now it's down under. Um. Anyway, <laughs> okay. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, because I, which sometimes happens when I try to be too funny. Yes, I was about to say before uh, Liam's comments. Yes. <laughs> um, 
Yes, the roles, the norms. What? <coughs> uh, I had a Peter Nossel. Uh, are you referring to my country? Uh, <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe I am not. Who knows? <laughs> yes. Anyway, the these gender roles, you know, it's they are set, set, set in stone. Why? <sighs> Go figure. But who I? When I was trying to uh, argue myself into a debate, uh, some it's been, it was a while ago, maybe. Earlier this year, late last year, uh, I made the argument that uh, said person was a, was actually a cre tada creationist, American Christian creationist, white cis male. I would presume was of the was of the opinion that it doesn't matter. That I was trying to to make the argument that the we are taught in biology lessons in elementary school or maybe junior high depends on where you, depends on when they teach this when they teach teach this stuff to you in your country elementary you know junior high maybe years 6 you know 5 to 8 they teach us that there are only two biological sexes male xy female xx do they tell you about cleaner filters like there's any applaudy uh xxy no but i tried to make an argument with to get to get a debate w with a uh, certain I, I can't even remember his name anymore but I'm sorry, but I made the arg the argument that they uh, that I I actually found uh, I've found in many other places, but it's also I would recommend this um, one one uh, book that I actually found uh, on on actually Google Scholar. Uh, is a good, is a good friend of mine. When I, a good friend of mine, good friend of yours. Uh, when you do do, do your do your own research, don't yeah, okay. Uh, what we have here is a, uh, called su transgender history: the roots of today's revolution by Susan Stryker. Uh, by Seal Press. Seal Press, second edition. I highly recommend this book. And this book also uh, made the argument that um, that the it's arbitrary the way we classify male and female. That XX is one is one in a, XX is one in another binary. XY is the other end of the binary. There is nothing in between. Nothing. Uh, so I, uh, Liam Wakefield says their religious beliefs may make them present present as cis, uh, but we cannot presume that one that one way or the other. You are actually uh, very much. Uh, Correct. Uh, there have been obviously, yeah, conversion therapy is another issue I will likely address at at some point. But anyway, that it, that this div binary division of bio biology binary division, it's arbitrary. It was set. I 
don't even I haven't even looked it up I'm sorry but uh, my when it was set in stone I haven't looked it up I'm sorry uh, uh, because it yeah uh, Peter Nottle's teachers must have been very progressive then well I lived in a tiny industrial town in in, in Finland so in the very in the in, in the 90s 90s small industrial town you know we had all kinds of weird super weird religious shit going on there was a revivalist movement etc starting up uh, which is a big big thing now but then we have the other but then this anyway this guy was then then um argued when i went made the argument that it's arbitrary it is xx xy binary it's arbitrary it's been it could be that it's just bit pretty much the same it doesn't really matter where you said it because where you said it but whether it's clearly filter x x y is the other binary and turner uh zero x is the other binary it's arbitrary anyway but he wouldn't take take no for an answer and argued argued the that it that the the cleaner filters turners etc there's something like 80, 18 or so different uh chromosomal variants variants in 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 human sex chromosomes and this this guy went went babbling just wouldn't take no for an answer and and refused to believe I was just bab going on this this circle, going on this circle. That no no no, but it's 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 very vari it's variation be between kinds, or you know variation within kind. That x that x x y is just variation between x y male. Why? Because they they have they are typically because they are assigned male at birth. So what the fuck? Come on. Uh, yeah, Peter Nuttall is 70s, 70s and 80s in a small town, small industrial town in South, South Australia. Yeah. Uh, you beat me on that one, mate. Anyway. Is there any, uh, my dear viewers, uh, is there any direction? I mean, I, I know what I... I'm still going to go further into the the ADNA study and uh, the and uh, the methodology in a separate episode. But is there I in a separate episode and is there any? Uh, I would love to have some some beer uh, beer opinion. Whether it be whether it be um, uh, comments, uh, li live live show, I have a, I have an ex who Liam Wakefield goes on to say I have a I have an ex who grew up in Kotka. Uh, and despite being long being lovely and open minded person, she couldn't quite shake. The small town mindset, yeah, yes. Uh, Kotka, my my ha my mom has a summer place there. Um, it's a small town. Uh, well, not a small on Finnish scale, not so small. It's got something like well, I could, I might as well Google it for you. Uh, it has as of July. July thirty first, last year, July thirty first, twenty twenty, uh, fifty one thousand eight hundred and sixty nine inhabitants. So, 
in on finish finish scale mind you we are five and a half million so uh, yes it's still the small small town mindset as i was as i was about liam i did not know you have a finnish a connection to finland i did not know are you or are you not it is a nightclub horrible nightclub uh it it now it it does have it does have more than one uh or at least it used to uh i did not know you had a uh finland connection uh liam please uh please tell me are you on my on either one of my servers on 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 discord are you on hades corner or are you on uh lgbt plus safe space are you on either one of them if you are if you are not please hop hop join the server join the servers and come back uh if you are not on either well if you uh Oh, go ahead. Feel free. Feel free to join. If should you should you so wish, of course I can't force you. Anyway, I yes, I, I was about to say that I am. Um, um, going further into this um tra the this intersex fin, uh, this this ancient grave, um. Or medi early medieval grave finding in in Finland um, in, into the science science bit um, in in a separate episode, but I'd like to have my viewers' opinion: is that where what would be the, di the direction you'd like me to? To take the 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 history of gender a biological sex if there's any way of if there's a specific way you might want my viewers of course i um i want to listen to my listen to my viewers of course but of, of course i want i want to do what i want but i want to to listen to my viewers because of course i want people to actually watch my videos um so let me know in the um give give uh, give me a comment in the comment section in the live chat uh, please send me an email there is a suggestion room in on my uh my uh, channel to uh so super ghost uk it goes on to say uh evolution gave us sight and the ability to think critically why can't it give us variations in gender or does god make so many hiccups exactly that is a very good point um i I'm of the opinion that you're a very wise man, uh, Mr. Ghost UK, Super Ghost UK. Um, yes, he, God, if, if you wish to say God gave us those, off you go. But evolution gave us many, th and e evolution created. Uh, eyesight many times like octopuses have like human eyes but reverse engineered like anyway i would like to hear some of your um your uh, development ideas for the future anyway uh, yeah, yeah. 
Oi, oi, oi. There we go. Okay, so. Is there anything you... Okay, I think it's been going on for an hour and I... Of the first 20 minute, twenty odd minutes I uh, was trying to um, fix things, uh, and I still have no idea what what <laughs> what was wrong with starting this this stream. Uh, it was just absolutely, it was just a f absolute nightmare, absolute nightmare. Anyway, do you have any any uh, any last minute last minute uh, comments uh, questions on this topic? Any suggestions uh, for the future, etc. etc. Feedback, and uh, before uh, please put them in my in the 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 uh, the live chats after the stream in the comment section down below please and while I wait for hopefully all my viewers to tack 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 the question questions and comments all all coming my way uh, I would like to ask you to thumbs up thumbs down either way uh, please subscribe and tickle the notification bell just you know Make it happy, make it, make it tingle. All right. Okay. So, if there are aren't any uh, any other questions, I think I'm on. Okay. Joined will read rules. Uh, honest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I sh I trust you'll be a. You'll be a good, good, good one there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I. He's my co-host, Bertil. Hello. Hello. My Bertil will go on his weekend. And so will Stefan. Okay. This stream was perhaps a bit more uh, mumbling than it usually is, but I hope you got mo got the most out of it. And please join me again on a live episode on Monday, where I uh, try my best. I can't promise anything. I try to get make the least amount possible of hiccups okay because today i, I have no idea what happened sorry <laughs> okay uh, i'll see you on discord please i'll see you on discord comment section email like subscribe and one two three